Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can get started creating animated stories and writing inside of Keynote. So what you have to do is open up the Keynote app on your iPad. Then once you get to the main menu, um, you are going to press create presentation, that white box with the blue um, plus sign. If you don't see that, you can press the plus at the top of your screen and then it's going to bring you to all kinds of like really nice themes that they have. Um, you could choose one of these themes as a template if you wanted to. They have some really good ones. I am just going to start with a blank presentation so that I can show you the basics. So from this blank presentation, the first thing you might want to do is you might want to customize your background. And what you need to know about all iOS apps is that you format things on this paintbrush. So right now I don't have anything on my screen selected and if I press the paintbrush, it's going to give me the ability to change the background. And I can go right here and change it to a different color, I can use a gradient fill if I want, or I can use an image. So um, I'm gonna select an image for this. So I can just use the text that's already here if I want, and to do that, I'm just gonna touch on the box and then type. If there's a box I don't need when I tap it, I can just press delete. Okay, now you can see that this is a little difficult to read. So there's a couple different things that I can do to edit my text. I'm gonna select the box and then go to that paintbrush again. And inside the paintbrush, if I select style, there are some pre-made styles that I might use. If I don't like that, I can just press the undo button. Or I can just change the color of the text by going under text. I could even make it an image if I wanted to make it an image. Right here. Alright, and I can change the font style if I'm not a fan of that font. And the other thing I might do is change the background. If I use that preset and then I can change the opacity to make it a little lighter if I wanted to. Okay, resize by just grabbing those little blue dots and pulling down. And you can reorganize or reorder it by selecting it, pressing arrange, and then moving to the back if you need to do something like that. So I have my title set up and now I'm going to add a slide by pressing the plus sign. And I'm going to use a blank slide. Alright, so I showed you how to um, add a background you could go ahead and add any kind of background here if you wanted or you could build a background and to build a background you are going to go to the um go to the paintbrush select background and for this i need a color um, gradient so i'm gonna do darker blue to a lighter blue for my end color. All right, and then I am going to begin adding in some elements. So if I press plus, the shape icon, here I could start adding in something like ground. So I need to format that shape by pressing the paintbrush. The shape is selected. Go to style, fill color. I'm gonna do this one as a gradient two, okay? And now um, I want to add in some characters. So to add in some characters, I am going to go to the plus sign. And across the top here, there are all different kinds of categories for um, shapes that you can add. But if I press this little um, search button, I could search for people and insert people that way and then you just resize okay and if I'm not loving that color I would just press that press the paintbrush choose style and give it a different color so um, I have my character and I have my background now I may want to add in some other design elements now if you've added in design elements that you really like you can copy those if you need more and just paste and then add them around or move them around to where you want them to go. All right, so um, the scene is beginning to come together and it's time to add in some dialogue. So I am going to go to plus, choose quote bubble, tap it and move it up. And the good thing about these quote bubbles is that they are already text boxes. All right, so scene is set, time to animate. So to animate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on my person and bring up the menu that says animate. And I want this to build in. 
So there's all different kinds of options for building in. This one might fade and move in, for example. There we go. It looks like it's even kind of walking. Um, so we'll use that. I'm going to press close and then I'm going to add in an action. So it's added here and I'm going to create a path and I'm going to have it keep walking done. And then I want this speech bubble to pop up after. So I'm going to add in an action for that. I'm going to add a build in and this is just going to appear. Okay. So let's play that to see what it's going to look like. You press play by pressing the play here. All right, looks good to me. Okay, now I'm ready to go on to my next slide. I could also duplicate this slide if I wanted because if I wanted to stay on the same, um, it might help me. Okay, so I'm back on this duplicated slide that I made and I am just gonna delete the stuff that I don't need. And I'm gonna move this over because that's about where it was when it stopped. And I'm also gonna have to remove the animation. So I'm gonna tap this, press animate. And I'm gonna press this little um, list button up here and I'm gonna delete these animations. Okay, um, so now I'm ready to add a new element into my story. I'm gonna go to plus image and choose something from my photos. Okay, let's add this little dog. And this little dog doesn't have a background, which is perfect. All right, and let's add something else. You know what, I'm gonna add um, this image of Bitmoji of me. All right, but I don't want all that stuff in it. Okay, so I wanna edit this photo. I'm gonna press the paintbrush, okay? And I'm gonna press instant alpha. And what this does is it removes the background. So it removed the white part, which is what I wanted it to do. Okay, but now I don't want that desk in there. So um, I still have my photo selected. I'm gonna go here, edit mask, and now I'm gonna crop that extra stuff out so it looks like it's just me running. All right, and I don't really like the way it's facing. I want it to face the other way. So I am going to go tap that again, do arrange, and I'm gonna flip it horizontally. All right, so I've got my dog. Okay, I've got my other character. And I want these guys to move together. So I am going to tap both of these and select so they're both selected and I'm gonna group them. So anything that happens with these two is gonna to happen together. So they're gonna be off the scene. Now I'm gonna animate it. I'm gonna add an action to this and I'm gonna create a path where I'm chasing the dog. All right, done. And then from here, I could go ahead and add more dialogue if I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna press done here. All right, so that's just basics of different ways that you can add characters, you can add um, details, all kinds of things. You could take a picture of yourself and add yourself into the story. Lots of fun options here. Um, once you have your story set up and ready to go, you are going to export that. So you're going to press the dot, dot, dot here. You're going to press export. Movie. We're going to turn this into a movie. And I want my resolution to be this. Slide range is going to be all slides. And I'm going to press export. And this is going to create a movie out of what I did. So from here, I could share it to... Schoology, or it will actually copy it to Schoology to possibly an assignment, or um, I probably want to save it to my videos. So that's been saved to my videos. So when I go into my photos, this is five seconds. Okay, so there goes my little hiker. Oh, and here's that. So lots to do here. I will be sharing more information about this soon.